Hey guys, this is going to be the tutorial that's going to show you how to make this window pane stitch. And you can do this stitch using any size yarn and whatever hook size that yarn recommends. I'm using worsted weight yarn, which is 4 ply for the US, 10 ply for Australia, and I'm using a 5mm hook or a size H hook. The multiples of this stitch is 12 plus 6, and what that means is that you're going to chain in multiples of 12, 12, 12, 12 until you've reached your desired size, and then once you have, you chain 6 more, and you're ready to start row 1. Okay, I did my multiples of 12. I have the width that I want, so now I'm going to chain 6 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, and now I'm ready to begin row 1. So for row 1, for row one, you want to skip eight chains. And in the ninth chain, you'll put a double crochet. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So in the ninth chain, I'm going to put a double crochet. Then you'll chain two. You'll skip two. One, two. And then in the next one, you want to put a double crochet and you're going to be working a double crochet now you'll need seven in a row so you've done one so in the next six chains you want to put a double crochet so that was one that's two three four five, six, and seven. Then we'll chain two, skip two, and then the third we'll put a double crochet. Then you'll repeat that again, chain two, skip two, and then the third we'll do our double crochet. And this this double crochet here is the start of the repeat. So again, you're going to do seven total double crochets in a row. And for me, I have the rest of mine. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, I'm going to end with the seven. But you'll continue that repeat for the end of the row. You'll do seven double crochets. Then you'll chain two, skip two, double crochet. Then repeat chain two, skip two, double crochet, and then this double crochet will be the next start of your seven. So just repeat that down your row and you'll end on seven double crochets. Okay, that ended row one. So row two, and this will be the beginning of the row repeats. We're gonna be repeating rows two through four. So for row two, chain three, and turn. The chain three will count as the first double crochet of your row. So you're going to go ahead and double crochet in the second double crochet of the row. And you'll have basically two rows of the exact same thing. So I'm going to go ahead and double crochet in all of these double crochets. Since you did a chain of three at the beginning, which counted as your first double crochet, you'll be double crocheting six this time. And you can count one, two, three, four, five, six double crochets in the beginning chain three. And this will bring you back up to your window pane area, which will repeat what you did last row, which is chain two, skip two, and you'll be double crocheting in the double crochet. Then you'll repeat that again, chain two, and now you're going to start your seven double crochets in a row. Whoop. Just going to go ahead and do these seven double crochets off camera because for some reason in this position I'm crocheting and it's not very comfortable. Okay, so after you've done your seven double crochets, I'll come back and show you the end. Okay, did my seven double crochets. Now I'm going to do my window pane. I'm going to chain two, double crochet in the double crochet. And somehow I got a hair in there. Then you'll chain two, and then again you're, you're going to skip two, and then this third chain, 
you'll put a double crochet and that will end row two. Okay, for row three, you're going to chain three, one, two, and three, and then turn. Now we're going to be working two double crochets onto the chain two here. Let me make sure I did on the chain. No, I did it in the chain. Okay, this is going to be important. I tried it both ways, I'm sure. Okay, so we're going to work one double crochet in each of the chains in the chain, and then a double crochet in the double crochet, and then again on the next two chains as well. So this chain three will count as our first double crochet. So then we're going to go right into the chain, and I'm going to go, just to give myself a stronger uh, stitch, I'm going to go under two of the loops, leaving one there, just to give it a stronger connection. So that's one chain, and two chains, and then a double crochet worked in the double crochet, and then double crochet into the next two chains. And that will give us our six double crochet, so we still need a seventh, so you'll also be double crocheting in the next double crochet. The chain three counts as a, a stitch, so you should have six double crochets and a chain three at the beginning, which gives you a total of seven stitches. When you have that, it's time to make our window pane, so we'll chain two, skip two, and then double crochet in the next. Then repeat that again, chain two, skip two, then double crochet in the next. And then we're going to start our double crochets worked in our two chains again. So, going to work in these first two chains, putting a double crochet in the chain itself. So, there's my first one, my second one, double crochet in the double crochet, which brings you up to your next two chains. And again, working in the chain itself. You'll work two double crochets in each one of those chains, and then you'll do your last double crochet on the other side of the window pane. Now, if you notice on in the window pane, if you look down on this row, you can tell that you are working in each stitch of the window pane. So, in each chain, the double crochet in each chain, and then you're also going to have a double crochet on each side of those. So it'll always be one double crochet, one double crochet in each of the chains, one in the middle double crochet, then in the two chains, and then one on the other side. So you can try to remember the pattern when you're working it later on to remember you always, when you're starting to work your double crochets in your window pane area here, you're always going to have two in the chain, one in the middle, two in the chain, and one double crochet on either side. It helped me, so I wanted to point that out. Okay, so once you've got that, you'll start your next window pane. So go ahead and chain two, skip two, then in the next, which is the third stitch, you'll put a double crochet. Again, chain two, skip two, it'll bring you up to your chain three, and you'll work a double crochet in the top of that chain three. And that will end row three. Okay, for row four. Now, when you're starting a row here on your window pane, your other half, you'll always begin with a chain of five. So, one, two, three, four, and five. So, this is going to be row four, turn, and then you're just going to do a double crochet in your double crochet. And then you'll finish your window pane, so you'll chain two, and then double crochet in that first double crochet. And then you're going to double crochet in each one of your double crochets across, till you come up to your next window pane. And it should be a total of seven double crochets in a row, so feel free to count them if you want. But I'm just going to double crochet in all my double crochets until I get back up to my window pane area. Then you chain two, 
double crochet in the double crochet, chain two, and then again double crochet in all your double crochets. And you'll be repeating this all the way down your row and just like me here at the end of my row, you should just be double crocheting in all your double crochets until you come up to that chain three. And then you'll do your seventh double crochet here in the top of the chain three, which will end row four. Okay, this will be row five, which will be the end of your repeats. I think I said repeat rows two through four earlier. I don't know if I said that. If I did, then I, I misspoke. It's repeat rows two through five. So go back to rows two, and then you can keep repeating rows two through five. So this is your last row of your repeat which will be essentially row one, but now you'll be working in stitches instead of chains. So you're going to be, again, re beginning your row with a window. So you'll want to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then you'll be skipping over. Remember this chain will count as your first stitch, so then you're gonna just go ahead and count the next two. One, two, and in this stitch, you'll be putting your window pane. So remember, you'll have two missing stitches here and then in the third. So it's gonna actually be a double crochet work in your fourth double crochet out of your seven double crochets. And then you'll chain two. Again, you'll skip two and then you'll work a double crochet in your last of your seven double crochets. And then now you're going to work just like you did before. You'll be putting one double crochet work in each of your chains. Again, I'm going to go under two of the stitches of the chain just to make a stronger connection. Then you'll put a double crochet in the double crochet. Then you'll work a double crochet in the next two chains. And then like I said before, you'll always have a double crochet after you work in your chains. So you'll put a double crochet in that last one. It should give you a total of seven double crochets in a row, and then you'll start your next window pane, which will be a chain of two, skip two, double crochet in this third stitch, then chain two, skip two, and then you'll be double crocheting in your last double crochet here. And then again, you're gonna be working in your chains. And you'll be repeating this for the row when you come to the end of the row, it'll be a window pane, just like I'm doing here. And again, you'll be working in your chain, just like you did before. So you'll be working in two of the chains, as usual. And then again, you'll work in the next. Let me just make sure here. Yeah. So you'll work... Trying to find where it's at. Yeah, and the third. So basically at the, the end you'll work two like you always do anyway in the chain and then to end your row you're just going to do a third double crochet. So at the end of your row it'll be just three double crochets worked in that chain five. And then that's it. You'll just back up the video and start from row two and then you'll just keep repeating rows two through five. So that's it guys. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to like and share this video. It helps me out so much. Also, if you're a first time watcher, you haven't got a chance to subscribe, feel free to check out the main YouTube page where you can hit that subscribe button and right next to it, you'll see a little bell button. And if you click it, it'll always notify you when I release a new tutorial. If you're wondering what crochet hook I was using, I'm using a wooden furls hook. And I recommend, the link, link is down below this video. If you order one, I recommend you order it with the extended handle. If not, you're only getting, going to get half the size. Also, I have a group on Facebook called Crochet for the Masses, where we share free pattern links. We share pictures of the crochet projects that we're currently doing or have just finished. Uh, we also, you can go there and ask questions about crochet or any stitches or patterns you may be having trouble with. So that's it guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Bye.